so in this video we are going to see how we can use determinations in a restful application programming model what determination is it actually modifies the business object based on certain trigger conditions these trigger conditions can be like any operation on the business object it could be create it could be update or delete operations okay and uh, there are two types of determinations available one is on modify determination and on save determination if we if we talk a very in a very basic language what determination can be you can connect it with like uh, if you are making any change to one field and you also want to modify some other field in the same business object then it will determine the value of one field and then based on that value it will update the other value of the business object there are uh, two types of determinations on modify and on save determinations what on modify determination is it gets executed immediately once you change some data if you have made change in one of the field for example you have changed one drop down value right so as soon as you change that value this determination will take place or this determination will get executed and this takes place in the transactional buffer whatever data is in the transaction it will be applicable onto that data because the data is not actually been saved onto the database yet okay and uh, the second one is on save this determination gets executed during the save process when the data finally gets saved then this determination will be executed basically when the data goes from transaction to the persistent state so at that point this on save determination will be triggered this was a small overview what is the determination and uh, now let's start how we can implement that determination what we are going to do is we have two different fields in our application so one is a course field and another is a course duration field what we want to do is if a user change the course then the course duration will be updated so for example if user selects a computer course then the course duration is 5 years and if user selects the electronics then the course duration is 3 years so this is what we are going to implement using determinations so let's start so very first thing which we need to do here is just like we did action validation and then the third item is your determination so determination and then provide some name update course duration and uh, then on what determination type you want to trigger this so i want to trigger it on save so when data will move from transactional state to a persistent state means when the data is actually getting saved at that time i want to determine the values okay and which field value you want to trigger the trigger field would be means on which field this determination should be triggered so that is called trigger field so our trigger field would be course because when i am changing the course at that time i want to trigger this determination okay so this is what the syntax of determination now this is the method which is currently not available so let's create this method 
you see an option here click on this and you got the method double click and your method would be created so your method is now created here now we will write some code so now this method will be will get trigger when on save is called now let's start making some code changes here for that we very first thing as always we need to read the entity let's pick up the entity read statement here and uh, what field we want to read we need to read the course field because based on course we are going to update the course duration so students course is the name right and then we will be putting a loop here to get the specific value so loop at this into data and student course okay and then and loop now here what we need to check is we need to check if this dot course is equal to computers then we need to do something and if you can put a switch switch case as well but just for demo purpose i'm putting this if condition so now we if the course is computers and if the course is electronics so in this case we will be updating the course duration to five years and for this we will update to three years okay so here we need to put a modify so modify entity entity it i entities of this in local mode and which entity so student entity and what we want to do we want to update which field we want to update we want to update course duration now what we want to update in this with value with the value hash and percent tky is equal to student uh, course tky and which field course duration is equal to five years okay so this is done now let's copy this and just what we are missing here we're missing a dot here okay now paste and we will update it with three okay and uh, that's it activate okay so there is an error because there are two two different changes so we need to use activate all option here and then select the specific files and activate so now it is activated and uh, now we will go to our service binding do a refresh and run the application
Oke, okay. klik on go. Then, so now edit. And uh, let's change it to electronics. And so we are changing the value here and we want to update this value course duration. So our draft is also getting saved, which we have seen in our last video. Now click on save. So there is each perspective. No, I do not want. Click on execute. And uh, okay, so data is saved. Okay, so for electronics, we still have three years. So let's change it to computers now. And the expectation is this course duration should get updated with five years. Click on save. No, and F8. Yeah, so here you go. So as soon as you change the computer's course, then course duration getting updated. Now let's try one more time and select this time electronics. And so there were two types of uh, determination, right? On save and on modify. So we have called this on save. That's why we are not seeing any update here until and unless we click on the save button. If it's on modify, then you will see an update here before even save as well. Okay, so that's what is the difference. So now we have selected the electronics. Now my expectation is this number should be three. Yeah, we got updated. So this is how we use the determinations in a Vaporist full application programming model. That's all for now in this video. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.